Hey everyone, it's Ali Reza here. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are gonna do a cloth simulation to our parachute and also export the animation to Unity. So let's begin. In order to not have any clipping, we are going to select the parachute, hit L on the keyboard, and select this inner part. Make sure that select length is set on UVs. Shift S and set cursor to the selected. Then we are going to deselect the bottom vertices. Now we are going to scale these vertices down just a little bit. We can start the simulation process. Select the parachute, go to physics tab and enable cloth. Don't forget to enable collision for the box under it. Now if you do nothing else and just hit the space, this is what we see. Things are happening but that does not look like a parachute. So we have to tweak some settings. First, select the parachute, go to object data properties, click the plus and add a vertex group. Name it something you remember. Go to edit mode, select these bottom vertices and hit assign. Now go to physics tab, under the shape section, select the vertex group that you have just created. We set those vertices to be a pin group and not move like the rest of the model. Don't forget to enable sewing as well. If we hit play, we're gonna see not much has changed, but it's gonna be super helpful in the future. Now, let's change some numbers. Up here, we have a speed multiplier. Basically, you can make your simulation to be faster or slower. Since parachutes land at a very low speed, we're gonna decrease the speed. Quality steps determines how good and high quality the simulation will be. The more, the better, but it will cost processing power and your PC will lag if you set it too high. 8 works just fine for me. As you can see, the simulation is very slower and that is what we want. In order to move the parachute, we are gonna add a wind under the forceful tab. I'm going to make it stronger. Now we can see the wind having an effect to the parachute. And it goes through the ground. Nice. It's because we haven't enabled collision for the ground. We can do that by going to physics app. It doesn't go through the ground, but the parachute doesn't look the way we want. So let's change some values. If we enable self collision, it will prevent the model from going into each other. 0.001 works the best for our parachute. I'm gonna decrease the vertex mass so the parachute gets lighter. Let's make the wind a bit stronger. Stiffness and damping values are the ones that create different feelings to glove simulations. You should play with them till you get the results you are looking for. Here, I see that the parachute is on the ground, but there is still movement. The way I fix this is with animating a speed multiplier value. I animate the speed at 0.4 with the shortcut I at the beginning, then also at frame 140. Then I move the playhead to frame 200 and animate it to 0. Now the speed starts at 0.4 and it stays at 0.4 till frame 140 and it slowly decreases to 0 at frame 200. The timing is a bit off, so let's fix that.
Let's add another print so we have extra force hitting from below. Now we animate the wounds as well. Shear under stiffness allows the parachute to fold on itself. Now I'm gonna animate shear value as well because I want shear to kick in when the parachute is almost at the ground and not before that. When you are happy with your simulation or you want to see the result without lagging, you can bake your simulation. Go under cache, set your end frame and then hit bake. It will take a while depending on your computer. Now you may see the values in physics apps are grayed out. That is because when you bake something, you basically lock everything and you cannot change it. In order to change the values again, hit delete bake. Don't worry, this will just delete the bake and not the simulation. Note that this model was very low poly. You can add a subdivision modifier and see how smooth the animation will look like. Now, let's export this cloth simulation to Unity so we will be able to use it in our game. First of all, set the origin of the parachute to the bottom. Then hit Ctrl A and apply all transforms, so everything is zeroed out. Now let's set the timeline's start and end frame. I like to start from zero till the end of my simulation. Go to Edit, Preferences, add-ons and search for MMD import export format. Select the parachute, go to file, light fifth point cache, choose your directory, double check the export settings and hit export. I want you guys to make a backup file right now so you keep your simulation data and to be able to change values later on if you want. Select the parachute, go to file, import light wave cache point, Check the start frame and import the file you just exported. You can see we have all these keyframes on our timeline. If we go to data properties, we can see the shape keys that have been assigned to the model. Now when we see shape keys, it means we can export simulations to Unity. There are some keyframes that are left from the parachute model that we don't need them anymore. Also, let's go to physics app and delete the cloth. Note that this deleting will not affect your animation because the simulation got converted into shape case. Now, let's clean the scene for exporting to Unity as a FBX file. Select the box, straps, torres, and the sheet and join them with Ctrl J. The red faces under the sheet are not important because the players won't be able to see them. Also, there is a bit of Z fighting over there, but that is because they are close to each other and it won't be visible in game. For the final check, select the box, select all with A, 
hit M and merge by distance. So the vertices that are very close together get merged. And as we can see, zero vertices got removed. And that means there was no problem. Now for the export, go to File, Export, FPX, choose your directory and name. For the export settings, I select only Mesh, check off the NLA strips and all actions, and decrease the simplified value to 0 and hit the export button. In the next video, Fireboard is going to show you guys how to implement this animation and model into Unity. If you guys learned something new from this video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.